Hello students, this is Vijay. Uh, today I will be giving you a demonstration of uh, uh, the kite, reel, sunglasses, hat and water bottle. So these are the objects which I have kept in front of me. I would like to mention here that this was a question paper during 2015-16 academic year if I am not wrong for art 1 for the ICSC board examinations. So right now what I am doing uh, is like I am giving outline you can see the paper color which I have chosen is uh, vermilion that is a red in color and uh, it's like picking up the color of your choice for the paper is your choice completely like you have a liberty you can select the paper of your choice comes also says like child can pick up the color of the paper of whatever he or she wishes to and why I am drawing why I am giving this outline back black color because know like it should be visible to you clearly otherwise in pencil the outline it becomes very difficult to uh, show or to catch in uh, 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 catch in a recording so we can see now after drawing the sunglasses and hat and then the reel now I'm coloring kite and like while giving outline you can see that most of the area I'm filling it in such a way that it's completely whole patch so yeah it's done <clears throat> so you can see now uh, my outline is almost done this is the uh, water bottle although while uh, drawing the water bottle one thing struck my mind that uh, my water bottle can be a simple one I mean use and throw water bottle so i will uh, definitely uh, put that uh, in my composition and i will remove this one right now since it was kept in front of me so i drew this but later on i am going to change this water bottle <coughs> you can see now my horizon line is almost done so in 10 to 15 minutes i have finished with my outlining and uh, now i would be going ahead with the coloring part so this is it my outlining is uh, work is finished and uh, my next work of uh, yeah this was my composition i just kite i was not having so i just uh, drew the uh, sticks with uh, color uh, with a with a sketch pen so just one square paper in kite shape and uh, uh, this what i'm showing you the color yeah so uh, you can see what i'm showing right now is the color bottle uh, these color bottles are like, uh, you know, this uh, is a, one is a yellow ochre, then second is vermilion hue, then there's a burnt umber, burnt sina, Persian blue. So, they are the colors. Actually, uh, this background which I am coloring dark is like, you know, the reason why I color background, make my background dark is like, it helps me to show good contrast for the object. And object comes out very quickly and it looks prominent and clear and automatically background uh, and this is a recommendation to you each one of you like you should always keep your background dark and naturally you'll notice that your foreground is uh, you know it comes out so I'm showing my color palette also like uh, yellow was the color of my kite and now when I was coloring my kite, uh, the naturally the color which I had given uh, initially, so that color is coming out, so although I am going to control it, but then in your case, don't uh, merge the entire paint uh, with the initial outline color. Of course, you are going to do your outline with a pencil, I have done my outline in color, so this problem you are not going to face. Now you can see I have put a uh, line cells you know, for the kite. And now the next thing what I am going to do is here is the I am going to uh, start with the rest of the coloring like rest of the object I am going to pick up and uh, this is the hat which I have chosen to so chosen for completion now hat was in burnt sina so burnt sina color was used for the hat and Oh, I'm observing continuously and applying the paint so like the light was coming from the top side from the upper side and 
here you can see my dark tone and middle tone they are almost done yeah, so here my uh, hat color is almost completed now this was the first feeling which I had given and this is what I will recommend to each one of you whenever you uh, whenever you paint any part of the object just go for the like don't go straight away for the, for, like from the finishing point of view uh, first you just give first feeling then in the first feeling you can just apply middle tone then you can just apply dark tone this is what I can recommend for the first feeling then when you go for the second feeling, then just go for the again once again darker shades and middle shades and this time lighter shades as well. And finally for the last feeling, you can go for the like darker shade, medium shade and again lighter shade as well along with highlights. And then later on now, uh, just see that the work has the proper tonal values even if, when you deal in a darker area that you have three dark shades when you work in the middle area you have three middle shades and when you work in a lighter area you have three lighter shades and when you work in a reflection tone you have proper three tones for the reflection tone as well uh, now we can see initially sunglasses were uh, very close to that. Now I have changed the place of the sunglasses. Plus I have removed the water bottle wherever it was earlier and I have kept simple water bottle there now in my composition. Simple in water bottle in the sense uh, use and throw water bottle because that was more subjective. I am changing of object in composition that liberty you must use. I am not saying like all the objects because main the core objects of the composition you cannot change but rest of the object which are connected to the main object those objects you can definitely change and uh, here you are now uh, I am coloring the reel as well so So now this uh, entire composition is uh, having first filling now except sunglasses and the water bottle and more detailing is taking place on a kite, uh, sorry, hat now. So like dark tone, middle tone, lighter tone. So you can see now uh, the uh, hat is in color. I am making it sure that uh, burns in a is added with a locker and this is I will recommend to each one of you do not take color straight away from the bottle and apply it on the paper that is not a good habit always take color from the bottle put it in the palette and when you put it in the palette just ask yourself like what exactly the color tone do you see when the object is in front of you like if the object is in light tone so while dealing with the object like take the actual color and then add white Take the actual color and then add black or Persian view or ultramarine view. This is a simple logic which you have to remember while coloring. And when you when you are master in catching the tones, automatically you'll find the object starts looking exactly three-dimensional. Uh, initial stage is quite uh, quite tedious and it uh, it takes a lot of energy. But then, as soon as you keep on completing, uh, gradually you just have to keep on adding the lights, and you will notice that the things start looking real. Because initially, when I retrieved the outline, I was also not knowing that I am going to come across with this result. I just keep observing and kept applying the tones what I was preparing. Same thing I will tell you: observe, ask yourself what exactly is the tone of the object create that respective tone in your palette then give a slight touch to the object check it after applying whether the tone is same or it's not same if it's same go ahead and color it 
if it is not same then just come back to palette once again and recreate the shade and then apply but remember until and unless you are not sure with your with the tone which you have prepared in your palette you should not apply even whatever amount of color you might have spent in creating the shade but then if that shade is not matching uh, to the object which is in front of you then you should not really cue now i'm uh, now i'm coloring the kite spool the thread of the kite spool rather and you can see that actually the thread of the kite spool color was violet in color and you might be asking what i'm doing now so i am right now coloring the uh, kite spool uh, kite spool was green in color and the thread was in violet so you can see my kite spool handle and thread is completely colored although the detailing of the same i will do it later on right now i'm coloring uh, the sunglasses so sunglasses was like it was uh, like you know you might have observed this kind of sunglasses where the vermilion hue or, or sorry not vermilion hue where the ultramarine blue is more now you can see the color of the sunglasses and the color of the thread is almost close by but then can't help out i am catching the reality so and plus i am not changing the color also although i have liberty to change the color of the thread and change the color of the uh sunglasses but then i will not do that and uh and in my previous videos also i have mentioned one thing that uh, like each object should have the minimum uh, this uh, tonal values like medium tone dark tone and lighter tone and how those tones should be that is clearly described in my previous videos well uh, now i'm coloring the uh, frame of these sunglasses while coloring this i noticed that my other other side of the sunglasses is not very much big it is it was a bit small so while coloring uh, i made this modification right now i'm coloring but then after coloring i realized one side is smaller one other side is bigger so this modification later on i can make it in my coloring and you will also come across with these situations when you will start painting you will notice certain areas not proportionate so in that case you can make the necessary changes uh, like uh, the change in outline it's very much important that your outline should be at the end of the picture your outline should be very very much proportionate because that is the main thing which the examiner is going to observe that is a symmetrical object has it been colored and drawn symmetrical or not that is the main question which examiner is going to ask so uh, now you can see i am i'm making modification and i'm trying to balance both the side and i'm making to i'm trying to show it that is a symmetrical object and the brush which i have chosen here is a round brush uh, usually the combination of flat brush and round brush i'm carrying uh, carrying while coloring and same thing i'll recommend you as well that whenever you will color any very much small and thin pointed area go for the round brush whenever you will color the larger area, uh, area uh, you can go for the flat brush now you can see i have again taken a flat brush in my hand and uh, uh, this time like you might have seen that my water bottle was already ready my uh, shadow i am putting off hand so uh, this here i was not going to color actually because uh, this uh, here i was going to take the advantage of paper color but again you might not understand that what i have done so the reason why i am coloring the foreground as well but again here i am say i have taken the same color as a vermilion color so at a glance if i wish, if i wish to say that what is the background color so background color is a deep red and what is the foreground color is a light red now uh, i am coloring the spool uh, the kite spool i am coloring here uh, the thread which was there was a violet in color and this was a little bit tricky yet the thing is not very much clear to you all you will find everything is like overlapped in such a way that the objects are not very much clear but i'll tell you dear students as i will keep on coloring you will find that all objects are looking beautiful clear and separate and forming a good aesthetic composition so uh, and this situation you will also come across with you will initially uh, find it very much tedious and frustrating that in spite of spending 2 hours you are not getting a clear and accurate result but believe me you just have to keep on adding the details and gradually 
that stage it automatically comes where you uh, yourself start finding the picture more interesting because this all uh, is a game of observation i would call it is a game of observation because thing which is in front of you is in a larger format in the same larger format you have to this decrease and this small uh, the uh, the decreased print you have to reflect on your paper so it's like uh, uh, very much big tussle of your observation uh, and big challenge of your observation like what you're observing so everything exactly same to same you have to pick up with your eyes and you have to drop with your mind on your paper with the with the help of hands and fingers so this is the uh, right now what i'm coloring is the handle of the kite spool so a handle the uh, end part was aluminum then this part which i'm coloring right now was in plastic and uh, this uh, the outer edge of this kite spool was green in color but that was in plastic So that is done now. Uh, uh, here you will notice one thing that when you will also try to color, uh, you would start observing my observation. And you will see here I am also trying to do the same, but why I am not getting this result? So just remember my first instruction, initial instruction. I said like apply middle tone, light tone, dark tone. Initially, first filling. Then second filling that is again middle tone, light tone, dark tone. Again third filling. Middle tone, light tone, and dark tone, and reflection tone also, and a highlight also. So this technique you will have to carry for all the objects. Then definitely this kind of result you will come across with. Don't expect directly that I am continuously coloring for three hours and I am not finding this result. What sir has brought, but the result which I have brought in front of you was like. Uh, it is a lot of study also which I have done earlier. Same thing you also have to do earlier, right now, and uh, don't expect that the end of, end of the picture your result and result which I have shown in front of you will be same. No, there will be a little bit of variation because what I have done, everything I am not able to describe because few things are like uh, we can say uh, we say now all the time like few things can't be described. So it's like that. We I cannot explain you all the time that right, what was the brushing style at that time, what was the mixing say, sense at that time. All I can say like color should be like a paste. It should be like a paste. The way you apply, uh, I always give this example. The way you apply butter on bread. So same thing I will tell you. The, you have you have to keep applying that butter on your paper. And the butter of color, you have to apply on paper. You might have observed this now that three to four times I touch the kite spoon and I am trying to bring justice and I am trying to show it more dimensionally clear because uh, that's what uh, my uh, main objective is. At the end of the picture, I want to show each and every object so much clearer, proper uh, that one should be able to, at a glance, he or she should say. It. That yes, this is the quality work which I can see, and same thing I will expect from you. Now the glasses were vermilion hue. No, glasses were in a uh, ultramarine view. I added vermilion in in the in the uh, ultramarine view because these glasses are were a little bit transparent as well. So I have to make it a point that glasses I have to show in uh, vermilion view. Sorry, uh, in ultramarine view. At the same time, I have to show that somewhere. The vermilion hue background is been has been reflected via those glasses, and that is it. Now I can uh, say that yes, my uh, here you can see I am struggling with a flat brush to achieve the result because the, what flat brush will give you that round brush will not give you. But again, uh, being a learner. You okay, you will always say like sir we are like not able to deal with uh, flat brush. Then I would say that yes go ahead with the round brush in chain. But later on wherever it's required try to pick up the flat brush. Now you might have seen that I have uh, given highlight on the sunglasses. 
upstairs exactly on the top of the composition there was a tube light on the ceiling so that tube light reflection was falling into the glass so that tube light reflection i have shown and now this is the highlight on the edges of the frame which i have shown with a white color and again i will not use all the time white only for all the highlights somewhere i will just try to make it bit dull not 100% white but say 99% white 98% white, 97% white, 96% white, 90% white. As per the requirement, I will uh, diffuse the color, diffuse the intensity. And my foreground again, I am coloring. Here there is a strong light, so I show the Bominary hue plus a bit white, and then the strong light I'm showing. Again, shut off the hat. And this small minute details I am showing now to make my picture more better and clear and this I will recommend to you as well that always try to show all the details. This will always give you good, this habit is very, this habit is very good. Do not underestimate this uh, small detailing, uh, this is very very much important. And uh, being an art teacher I am not able to finish my picture within 3 hours and being a student you always think there are why to hand over the paper before 3 hours because many students have seen that they hand over their paper within 2 and a half hour or 2 or 40 minutes, 2 or 50 minutes they say so my paper is done, don't do that then this entire video which I am prepared that has taken consumed more than uh, 20 or 25 hours now if you say that sir being a teacher if you are taking 20-25 hours then being a student how do you expect the work, of, work within 3 hours see when I was when I was making this picture, I had kept this image in my mind that I am preparing a demo and this demo has to go with details to the students. So I have to take care of the color palette which uh, I have to again take care of the uh, camera angle and I have to take care of the free slots which I am getting and because I was doing it, in my, uh, doing it in my lecture time. So I have to take care of my attendance and again uh, I have to take care of the class control. So keep this reason, it uh, consumed almost 20 to 25 periods so near about 20 periods I won't say 25 but near about 20 periods it took so now I'm coloring the thread which is on the top of the hat again when it comes to time management now I will tell you see when you sit for the coloring do not have a discussion with your friends and you know do not keep showing them that what you have done. Just keep on doing and don't talk with anybody when you are coloring your picture or when you are completing your picture. Because I told you, like you have to concentrate continuously. Now I'm what I'm coloring is like I, I saw that there was a thread on the hat. So now you can see what struggle I'm coming across to show those threads very much clearly. So this really helps you your students that when you try to show now that wire was like it was having these style of plates like it was continuously uh, uh, intersected to each other so the intersection also you have to show then only your picture is like the next starts creating the uh, three dimensional effect. Now you can see I'm mixing a little bit background color in a foreground and again foreground color and the object color is in the background. 
this I will recommend to each one of you that merge your background and foreground color in a uh, in each other because that creates your picture turns your picture into painting. Otherwise, what is the difference between the photograph and painting which you are doing? Then anybody can take the photo also and say that say see my painting is done. These are the techniques which you have to use uh, to make picture more interesting, to show picture more realistic. I repeat what I have done. I mixed my background color into foreground in objects and object colors the edges into background and foreground colors. So all together at a glance I want to say that outline should not be very much sharp like a blade. They should mix, they should get mixed into the background and foreground. This technique you should not forget. It's very interesting technique. You should follow this technique. And uh, here what I'm doing right now is like the red dots via which those threads were intersected into hat. And now what I'm doing is like I'm putting the highlights on those uh, on that uh, intersection uh, wire which was kept on the hat. You can see my the extreme a end of that hat is mixed in the background and foreground. So it, it creates a three dimensional effect. Yes, one feels like yes it's coming out of the background. Like one feels like I should go there and pick up the hat. Perhaps that badge which is there in the hat, that company, the logo com logo of that hat was in was on a copper badge. So that copper badge I am trying to create now. So you can see I am not losing the smaller than smallest details also. I am not I'm missing it out. I am making it sure that it's shown, it's reflected in my artwork. So that makes my picture more interesting. Now as you can see that's created solid brick to that black outline and that monotonous effect has gone and a lovely effect has come on that hat. There were three holes on that hat, the upper part of the hat. So those three holes, beside the three holes there was a copper ring. That copper ring also I am trying to show. That you can imagine how much care I have taken to show the details on the hat. Here I'm using round brush, and uh, somewhere if I see that there's a too much high intensity, the white has gone too strong. So you should always decrease the white tone because too much of white also makes picture dirty. So remove in such cases straight away remove that white if it is too much because highlight should be such that we should not prick your eyes. It should look soothing and smooth. That is it now that part is done and well I will not talk much about the hat you can see the details only that what I am doing because I told you like everything I cannot describe here you have to watch you have to understand certain things that what I am doing so if required you can enlarge the screen and you can see what I am doing so you will find that I am putting up the holes now uh, where the wire has been uh, like the weaving of that hat is done so stitching of that hat is done so you can see that how the thread has passed from each hole of stitch so that also I have shown and I was very much clear about my shadow also which shadow the shadow of the hat how much strong should be shadow and my shadow is reflecting right now that light is falling from top so your picture should be having that quality students that your picture must reflect that my light it's falling from left right top this much though at least you should definitely show that though i will definitely insist on that one thing i'll definitely insist on that your picture must reflect that from which side light is coming otherwise what is the use of this all efforts you can do the sketchman work also in that case if you are not 
careful about this small thing that your picture is not reflecting from, from which side the light is falling then what is the use of this all efforts so that care to definitely you have to take and plus the, the you have to keep white also in control and the shadow also in control you should not be too much light uh, you should not be too much high key also and it should it should not be in the too much low key also the meaning of high key and low key is like too much it should not be too much dark also it should not be too much light also now i'm coloring the background as i told you like I'm, i like keeping my background very much dark in color because it helps me to show my object very much light clear brighter and in front of the system so i repeat i'm making my background darker but at the same time i'm i will take efforts to show few folds also and same thing i will recommend you now i'm putting up folds and you can see that yes uh, my background is looking dark and object has naturally come front here also uh, and yes this is not black color it's a red plus uh, ocean blue uh, then burnt umber and little bit touch of black so this thing uh, this tone i have used in my background and my background is completed now almost I am giving final touches to my background. And, uh, now this is done. You can see I am continuously using my brush to make things more proper. Yeah, here you can see my color was my brush was having more tone of black, but it was not hundred percent black students. It was again the more tone of black, and it was helping me to. I was using this tone for the you know. to show that there are few folds in the cloth you can see my horizon lines clear my my folds you can see two or three folds are seen and my objects are very much visible and now i'm using yellow tones to show kite you can see my kite is completely in light lemon yellow now so i'm decreasing i'm diff I'm, i'm i'm keeping that yellow in control because yellow it's like has color has lot of intensity If you don't control that color, then I, you can see now. I'm I'm mixing the background. Now, tell me what you what you've done. Then here, what I'm doing, I'm mixing my background and foreground color in a kite. So it, my kite also looks a part of the background. So I'm I track my brush in such way where the outline where the outside color has come into the kite. But don't worry, uh, that should be shown. Otherwise, it will look like like cutting and pasting. Now I'm putting this. stick of the kite and i as since the bottle is transparent so i have shown that yellow color also will be in that i read that that says that water is water bottle is transparent i hope this i have colored the water bottle much uh, clearer much better i i have shown the details on the labels like the bottle is of active fina company And then again, it has a logo. That logo also I have tried showing. So the more detailing I have done, so to make my to show my picture more three-dimensional and real. Without that, there is no shortcut. You you cannot say that sir, we uh, show us some path via which we will take less effort and we will achieve good result. No, there is no shortcut in this regard. You have to pass. You have to travel from this uh, struggle only you know, to achieve the uh, result of. Uh, shades and tones which is in front of you now you can see where the bottle was like overlapped the kite that it is in white color so yellow color the kite is in yellow color and where was bottle is overlapping to background the background is in red color so naturally bottle is reflecting its red color and again there is a blue label to the bottle so that blue reflection is also somewhere it's reflected on a bottle and you can see my bottle is much clearer now and uh, this is the bottom part of the bottle which i am coloring now that was highlighted
can see my uh, the angle of the painting i kept it in little bit front now and the color of the kite i have changed it a little bit this was not the design which was for you know kite but then i made this change i wanted to show that kite more interesting so this design of the flower and the two tones on the kite this i am putting it deliberately to make that kite to show that kite more interesting otherwise it was just looking one one fresh yellow patch which i wanted to remove and i removed it also so i am my kite is now in almost three tones now and the upper part is in uh, yellow color the middle part is in orange color again there is a flower on the kite so that is in green color so now my kite is quite colorful and it look it's looking more real like you can say i am merging that i am taking that background color in a foreground and that is it it's more better it's more beautiful now i am putting a little bit highlight on the kite this the sticks of the kite were not in front of me so it was going it was a little bit challenging for me that how will the picture look like but in your case dear students i would recommend you that please uh, do not take any shortcut try to show as good as possible try to show as real as possible try to create the shade continuously keep struggling on the uh, shades if you are not satisfied with some result of the shade please do create a new shade and do not apply color straight away from the water to the object i mean like suppose anything is in blue you open the blue shade and you straight away dip your brush in a blue shade and apply it to the paper no there is no actual color on the which means except few areas there is no actual color which is to be applied this say okay, the like the you know, the kite was yellow in color so i did not take yellow initially you might have seen my first patch was in dark when i was coloring kite so, and now you only can see the stage i am making my border more dull now because my borders were very much sharp and the sharp borders would have shown a little bit very much uh, uh, like painful effect i mean to say it would have pierced in eyes so what my intention is that after completing when your picture gets completed you should try to smooth your outline wherever you feel like few outlines are very much dark and it's creating hard impact I and I did the same thing with my kite. It was creating hard impact uh, on my eyes, so I just diffused the outline by mixing it with background with the objects, and uh, it's better now. My my foreground, my background, my objects—they are much clearer and better now. The uh, tube light is reflecting now. Reflected in us on the in the sunglasses. Frame is done, and uh, left and right side of the sunglasses are almost fine. I'm adding the details in the frame. As I told you, like I I don't want to put light tone only everywhere. these are the few details which i am applying these are the final detailings which is making my picture more better more clear you can see that the aluminum handle was also shining so i have shown that highlight of aluminum also and uh, it means there is no end it means even if i want to take this picture to the next level i can work for more one hour two hour or three hours or four hours and make this picture more and more realistic and beautiful keeping in mind that i have to maintain the originality of the painting otherwise what is the use if i keep mixing everything somewhere the patch effect has to be seen otherwise picture will look photogenic means it will look like a photo then there is no difference between the photographer and artist because patch work has to be shown but at the same time you have to keep that sense how much patches should be seen